Shabbat Shalom. Welcome back to Take Time for Torah. This is Parshat Chaye Sarah, The Life of Sarah, where it really records her death and how Abraham honors her in death by purchasing for her the cave of Machpelah. And then he turns his attention to finding a spouse for his son Isaac, just the right woman who would provide hospitality and help to strangers and those who are in need. So I think about Chaye Sarah, it reminds me of Chaye Sandy, that Sandy the storm, this Frankenstorm, this hurricane that passed over us uh, just, just over a week ago, has left in its path a devastating, a devastating destruction and people in need of help, severe help. You know, I was lucky. I only had my family room flooded, but others I know have lost most of their belongings. People have lost their houses. Their houses have been condemned, and they are homeless. And my heart goes out to them. And so I take comfort in the fact that we are taught from this week's Torah portion that, that our job, our responsibilities as individuals is that we have to go out of our way to help strangers. We have to go out of our way to help others. How do you do it? You do it through donations to the Jewish Food Service uh, Food Pantry. You do it if you want to make a monetary donation, you can do so to our Jewish Federation and Market Hurricane Relief. You can do it by volunteering your time and your energy to help someone else who is in need. The most gratifying piece of all of this is that we are making a difference. Um, people have shared with me as they have delivered food from the food pantry and they've driven around the streets distributing food and they've seen someone and they said, look, do you have food? And the person looks confused and said, we have a bag of food for you. And suddenly the person breaks down in tears. Why? Because he didn't know how he was going to feed his family that evening. We are giving people comfort. We are helping them to give them the necessities to be able to rebuild their lives and at least find some firm footing. As I spoke about on Shabbat, on Rosh Hashanah, about the 12 months of giving at Beth Judah, we have the opportunity for us to give and for us to help and to volunteer. So I encourage you to do that. Watch Facebook. Watch the emails that come from Beth Judah and from the community and lend a helping hand. You see, uh, Rebecca, who Eli Eliezer, the servant of Abraham, meets, who will become Isaac's wife, becomes the perfect helpmate for Isaac, not because she's beautiful, not because she has a wonderful personality, which she did, but because she went out of her way to feed the animals of a stranger and then to feed a stranger. My friends, our job, our mission as Jews is to provide hachnasat torchim, to provide the welcoming of guests into our home. And we do that by feeding them, by making sure they're warm and they're comfortable, and making sure their needs are being met. So I encourage you this week to find a way to volunteer and to help others. It could be dropping off food at the food pantry. It could be dropping off cleaning supplies. It could be volunteering your time to rip up carpets or to move people's stuff. But whatever it is, whatever you do, do it with, with gladness in your heart that you are helping another. As I have said, um, this is not an act of God. This was an act of nature. The acts of God are in the activities and the projects that each of us take on to help another person. Shabbat Shalom, and I look forward to seeing you next week for Take Time for Torah. Shabbat.